I make a noise. It's a big old growl. Yeah! And I'm being conservative because the guy behind the camera has an earbud in his ear. Um, I started out, and it actually started at the U.S. Open. At a U.S. Open, I think it was 94, might have been 95. I, it was at the Disneyland Hotel, if you remember the U.S. Open at the Disneyland Hotel. And a number of us would stand on chairs on the top tier of, of the staging, because there were levels of, of tables and things. We'd stand on chairs behind the tables and we'd watch because we didn't have good seats or we were getting ready to compete or we wanted to see people's feet and if we were sitting we couldn't see the whole thing. So I had a very high pitched scream for competitors and I think it was pretty obnoxious. I mean it was as loud as I can be with the growl which many of you may know. It can be piercing if it's high and, but I don't have to stand in front of my mouth, so I don't know what I sound like. And at the U.S. Open, a lady at a table in front of me, I had been, pretty much been standing behind this one table for maybe two days worth of competition. And she turned around and said, you obnoxious B word, shut the F word up. And I was devastated. I was very upset. I, I really, if I had known, I absolutely would have at least moved around, if not quieted down. I really just didn't know how bad I was. But I was standing next to Robert Cordoba and Don Blorstadt, who are U.S. Open champions. And I don't remember whether Don was competing that weekend, but I know Robert was getting ready to compete later that day. And Robert took me aside and told me that and I'm not sure whether this is correct because I had not been attending the U.S. Open very much, but took me aside and told me that the U.S. Open room itself had never been quite so loud because there had been a lot of polite clapping and maybe a whistle or two. But my being so vocal had kind of given everyone permission to get a little louder about things and that it, he felt it was helping the competitors to stay energized and to feel enthused about their routines and their dancing. So I moved away from this lady and I started developing a yell that dropped lower. And I found that going lower, I think it's less hard on the ears. I hope it is. But even if it's not, people turn around and see a blonde white woman sounding like Fat Albert, basically, and they laugh instead of yelling at me. And so now I just try to position myself where it's not so bad. But the growl didn't start as something for me to be recognized. It has become that. But it started as something totally and entirely for me to appreciate my friends on the dance floor competing. Um, and frankly, my point of view on it is still that it is an acknowledgement. It is a yeah. It's intended to affirm positively uh, a student when they get something right, a group when they're really starting to execute the moves well, a performer or even somebody social dancing that's really having a good dance or just pulls off some cool move or just gets the better of their partner and makes them blush another thing I tend to like to do. So uh, it's turned into a trademark, but its, its purpose has really always been to acknowledge others for what they're doing that is awesome in dance.